And so then the next record after Cough Cool was... Is Bullet. Was Bullet. And yep. what was the press run of that? That initially... You mean total overall now? Yeah. 10,000. 10,000 a bullet? Yeah. That's even more than what I initially had heard. Yeah. Because, see, I always had heard that it was 3,000 on red and 2,000 on black. No, more than that. How many were on red then? 2,000. And then all the rest were all black? Okay. There's only 1,000 with the original first sleeve, the fold-out. Okay. All the rest have the better dead on red sleeve, even if they're black. Okay. So then when was Teenagers from Mars, when was that done? That was done in the Static Age sessions. We had another record we were going to put out. It was going to be Static Age and Teenagers from Mars. We had was, that done, done. was that done after Bullet, or was that done be after Horror Business? It was done at the same session as Bullet. Okay. And so we had the songs ready to go anyway. So we said, well, why not put it out? But then we decided not to. I don't know why, but we had the acetates and the masters done and everything. We just never put it out. So then you, the next thing that you recorded was in Horror Business? Yeah, Horror Business. And how many um, did you... 5,000 on Horror Business. 5,000? And there's like, what, the word is like 25 on Black? Yeah, those were advanced copies to give away at a show we did with the Damned in New York okay. at Haraz. Like 79. And then the next thing you had out was Night of Living Dead? Night of Living Dead. There's only 2,000 copies of that. Only 2,000? Only 2,000 copies. Of that. Okay, then what came after that? <coughs> after that came the Beware 12 incher for our British tour at the dam. Okay, now that you went to England. Song. Song. Yeah. Went now, how did that go? It went well, but Jerry didn't get our contract signed before we went over, and the dam's management, which is Motorhead's man management now, uh, screwed us over and told us we're only getting paid for half the shows that we were supposed to get paid for, and we were only getting 50 pounds a night, which was roughly that time about $125 a night. And so we just walked off the tour. So who was the band when you did that tour? I was the Night of Living Dead band. It was Jerry, me, uh, Joey Image on drums, and Bobby Steele on guitar. That's when you still with Bobby then? And he toured to England then with that? Yeah. Then what came after that? After that came a long break in um, in vinyl for the Misfits. We were recording still, but we never came up with anything good we liked. Were you playing live at that time? Uh, sporadically. What was the crowd response at that time? It was it was good. You know, it was it, New York was going through a lot of changes. It was like uh, ska bullshit going on. That was about 1980 then, right? Yeah, 79, exactly 80? 1980. Yeah. Exactly 1980. December to June 1980. We didn't play for a long time because we didn't have a drummer. So we were holding auditions. Uh, we got back in January of 1980 from England. We hung out there. We had an agent. And we had a deal with CBS. And our drummer was supposed to come back over. We were supposed to go on tour at The Clash. And then our drummer never came back over. And so we couldn't go on tour at The Clash. And also we didn't get the CBS contract because of that. So uh, we came back. We looked for a drummer. And about April we found Boogie. So we hadn't played then. Now, wasn't he in a punk back. band previously? No. Or was he never in any band at all? I don't all? think he was just in, like, Queens bands, you know, bands out in Queens. He wasn't from the city. So we eventually got him, and we were ready to do a tour that Caroline, which then was in the South, run by the guy who runs DB Records or something, I don't know. He put the Beware up with somebody else in England. They were going to send us on a Texas tour. And that fell through, and... Uh, we just started playing around New York about June and July. Of 1980? Yeah, 1980. We did, uh, we did a show, a benefit for a magazine. Uh, we did some other stuff. We played at this place called Exile in Long Island City and a few other stupid shows. Stuff like that. 